My name is Lincoln Baxter, project lead of Forge by JBoss. I'd like to take a minute to show you some of the new innovations we're making in the embeddable tooling space. First of which is the ability to run tooling in any environment, such as Eclipse or the command line, even the web. I'd like to demonstrate using the new project command in the Eclipse runtime environment to create a Java web application. Next, I'm going to integrate a few Java technologies, such as REST web services and the database. To do this, I'll again pull up the Forge context menu and select the command I wish to run. The Forge menu is context sensitive, so depending what we have selected, we'll get a different result, a different choice of commands to run in the menu. It's also worth mentioning that Forge is not tied to any particular technology. While I'm demonstrating the Java Enterprise environment, Forge can actually generate code for any type of project, including JavaScript, Ruby, Perl, Python, etc. The choice is yours. Because Forge employs an extendable add-on programming model, you can actually create your own commands and your own functionality for any technology or any purpose you wish. Add-ons can be installed and removed at runtime, which means that you can add or remove functionality on demand. To make this possible, and to make possible the ability for add-ons to depend on other add-ons while still providing their own versions of conflicting libraries, we've implemented our own lightweight modular service container called Furnace. This is roughly like OSGI, but follows a much simpler development model, enabling a much faster getting started experience. The programming model for developing Forge add-ons is much like developing any normal Java application using the Maven build system. Back to our demo, we can see that I've now set up the REST specification, a database, created a database object and table, and created a REST endpoint from which to serve that data. Forge has inspected our database object and table and created the appropriate REST endpoint. I'm now going to show you the same process, setting up REST, a database, creating a database table, and creating a REST endpoint to serve information out of that table using the same tools from the command line. Note, these are the same tools that we're running in Eclipse. We're simply running in a new environment in the command line. No separate implementation was required. Using our user interface abstraction API, we're able to create complex commands that support multiple options, wizard flows, transactional resource updates and rollback, and guided tab completion. This tab completion and validation is given for free when using the user interface API. Additional validations and constraints can be added, but they are not required. The next steps for our project include creating a new website, one that supports an ecosystem of add-ons submitted by users for others to share and download. This website will also include comprehensive documentation for how to use the add-ons, how to create add-ons, and how to share add-ons with anyone else. For example, some of the add-ons that we're working on include database reverse engineering, cloud application management, and automated migration from one technology platform to another using the JBoss Windup project. The ability to abstract tooling functionality from the runtime environment puts us in a unique position to innovate in this space. If you're interested, please join us in the Forge IRC channel on irc.freno.net, check out our GitHub repository at github.com forge, and get involved in our development. Our first release will target the Eclipse development environment and the shell command line, followed by IntelliJ and NetBeans and the web. Thanks for listening, and stay tuned for more updates at forge.jboss.org.